everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Ruiz is approaching the ring now. And this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. Big's ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. What's the best punch for a tall puncher against a shorter puncher? Well, it's got to be the jab, because the jab is the measuring stick. And make sure that the taller man keeps that advantage. Make sure that the shorter man stays where he belongs. Good defensive skill with the block by bad intentions. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Big. Come on, get both a way of just getting away from that punch. Halfway through round number one. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Oh, and he goes down for the first time tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. It doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Precision work with the left hand by Big. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy. And so many times, it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's going to try to move on him. So start doing it early on. And later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Big's knockdown scored in that last round has a certain tone in that corner that every trainer wants. They are bubbling with confidence. They know they can go out and accomplish things again here.
Nice work. Nice work. Now don't get too close to him. Don't get too close, all right? I need you to move more. Just keep moving. You hit him really good in that round. A couple of times. Really good. You're looking good. Just keep it up. He's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Solid hook. Able to land the hook to the head. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. <laughs> Not able to land the headshot. Jab, uppercut, both upstairs. Halfway through round number two. Ruiz's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. He gets tagged, but now a good shot by Big. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. to protect the midsection. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Nice work, nice work. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Big. Gets rid of that effort. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing a lot, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent is pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. You got to keep working. Listen, why not pick up where you left off? Remember, he was so badly damaged in the last round. You gotta think his opponent should be all over him here. Could be an opportunity. Sometimes you gotta take something that's dark, that's really bad, and turn it around, find the good. Maybe he can find the opportunity to catch his opponent coming after him a little careless. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Focus. Bad intentions is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Good defense, just covering up down low. Nice solid left hand scored by Big. Move your head. Vic's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Relax! Relax! 
Oh, a good right hand by Bad Intentions. You gotta protect yourself! Biggs in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the end. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Solid left hand to the head. Good solid hook lands by bad intentions. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expect him to clinch. Good smooth work by Ruiz. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Good block by bad intentions. Don't fight this fight. Jab and move. Jab the over there, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Bigs up three zip on Teddy's scorecard, but obviously he's putting together a big lead here, having his man down. Yeah, his opponent keeps walking straight in, so he's catching him with straight punches. Hard straight punches. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Can't work in the bottom. Blocks that belt line well. Bad intentions is making me one. That's a crushing right hand by Big. Left to the body. Get after him. A little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Big's right hand scores well that time. Halfway through round, Ruiz is rocked all of a sudden. Now each man has stunned the other. And a sharp counter punch by Ruiz. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Big's right hand scores well. Bad intentions is damaged by that shot upstairs. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Blocks the headshot.
Able to cover up that gut. Just still not moving enough. Move, move. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. You're doing great. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, Relax. but the kind of round Relax. that gets a corner man anxious. Right? What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back-and-forth brawl like that? Your hands Move your head. Keep your, keep your hands up. You know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you got to give him a little confidence. Remind him, hey, we trained for a tough fight. You're ready for this. Listen, stop chasing him around the ring. Cut the ring off. Relax. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Nice, nice. Ruiz is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Oh, and there you go. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Move your head. Halfway into round number five here. Good block there by Big. Big putting on a show here. Defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes. He's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. Good job, buddy. Keep moving. You got this one. Shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Wow. Oh! Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, So he goes down but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. You're fighting his game plan. 
box intelligently for me, all right? Come on, you're more intelligent than this. Let's go, let's go. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when Bad intentions is thumped by a left hand. <laughs> Big, big shot to the head. He left a hole, it was closed. Great movement to get away from those punches. Able to show you his blocking ability. Did you see that? That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. Bad intentions, his work rate is impressive, Teddy. But his connect percentage is not. No, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart in there. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, Jump hit me. On. He's moving, he's feeling smart defensively. The other thing is the punch is a little too wide. He needs to shorten him up a little. says right back with the left hand Receiving end of a very good counter punch. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Big. Ten seconds to go in this round. Keep working the body. Well, Teddy, okay. in football, they call a turnover a game-changer. That knockdown in that last round by him, that was a game-changer. Yeah, now, it's easy for us to say that it's a game-changer and he's going to continue doing We expect him to continue doing what he did that round and keep building on it. But don't forget the other guy has something to say. He's going to get himself back together, too. We got it. All right. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. With the start of this round, we've reached the halfway point. Be interesting to see what we're in store for down the stretch of this fight. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. 
The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. And just grabbing on to his opponent. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. At the halfway point of round seven. Miss the body shot. Bad intentions is not having things go his way tonight, but there's one easy explanation for it. He's barely moving. He's just stationary there. And his opponent's taking great advantage of that. He's coming in, he's finding them, he's giving them angles. You know, I think part of it is frustration. He's not moving because he's being kept off balance, and right now he's just not thinking right. You're taking too many punches. Hands up. Go, hit him. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And round seven comes to an end. Keep on. That was nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep that head. And I want to see double jab. Uh, you gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Hey, listen, I'm not gonna stand. Teddy's scorecard through seven rounds. Biggs finding himself in a tough spot tonight. A dead even fight. Opposite an opponent who's put him down on the canvas. Well, now it's time to pull out. You know, that old dependable. And that would be the jab. Start using that jab because it can keep you in a safe range where you don't walk into knockdowns anymore, keep you out of that danger zone, and just as importantly, keep your opponent defensively and put you ahead on the scorecards. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Face yourself. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. to dismiss that body shot. That's what I want to see. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Oh, what a whiff by Ruiz. Working the halfway box. point of round number eight. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Nice block by Big. Back to the body. Keep 
moving. Keep moving. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Gets rid of that body shot. And round eight comes to an end. Biggs in position to win this fight. Trust me when I say that. It's a close fight. He may be trailing, but he can go out there and still take this. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. <laughs> is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleeping pill, or do that. Stick your chin out, bang. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.